Hi guys, it's Lindsay, and today I'm going to be doing a very requested video, which is my top 10 most worn everyday lipsticks. A lot of you guys really wanted to see this after my everyday makeup tutorial, which I will link below if you would like to check it out. But today I'm going to be showing you lip swatches and talking about all of my favorite lipsticks that I wear pretty frequently whenever I wear lipstick. All of these are pretty much my lips, but better colors. They will go with a ton of makeup looks, and hopefully this will help you find one that you like. The first one we are going to begin with is NARS Dolce Vita. Here is what Dolce Vita looks like on my lips. This is a very sheer, kind of dusty rose color, and it is probably my favorite everyday lipstick of all time. I have purchased so many of these, and it is just super reliable, and I wear it all the time. You don't really have to worry about applying it perfectly, and you can always just like touch it up or let it fade off, and it's just very easygoing, and I love that. And I'll do an arm swatch too, just so you can compare them to each other. There you go, Nars Dolce Vita. Next up is the color Baby Lips from Laura Mercier. Here's what baby lips looks like on me. This color is another sheer one, so it can be applied super thin just to get like a wash of color or a lot to get like the full color. This is what it looks like when applied like in full color. It smells like vanilla and it is just another really easy going shade if I want a little bit more color because it's similar to the last one, but just a tiny bit brighter. You can tell from the swatch, it's just a brighter, more warm pink. Next up is a more nude shade and this is Bobbi Brown's Bare Pink. Here's what that color looks like on me, and here's the swatch of it. It's neutral, but a little on the cooler side, and just if I feel like wearing a nude, this is definitely one I go for, just because it is very comfortable on the lips, and it goes with a lot of makeup looks. Next, I have the Revlon Lip Butter in the color Pink Truffle. Here's what Pink Truffle looks like on me. It's definitely a brownier pink color compared to the rest of these, and it's also super high gloss. So if I feel like going for like a glossy look, I will usually go for this because I hate lip gloss, but this just has that glossy finish, but in a lipstick. Up next, we have Liar from Urban Decay. Here's what Liar looks like on me. I absolutely love the Urban Decay lipsticks. They are so pigmented and they're super creamy and just like comfortable to wear. It just reminded me of how much I love it when I applied this. It's kind of similar to the last one because it's very glossy and it's more of a brown pink, but it's a lot creamier and thinner where the last one kind of has like a thick-ish glossy feel. So that would be the main difference. This one just feels very luxurious. I have the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Abu Dhabi. It reminds me a lot of MAC Velvet Teddy, but maybe just like a shade lighter. It's more of a peachy-ish brown, and I just, I really, really like this color. Up next is MAC Velvet Teddy, which I definitely just mentioned. Here's what Velvet Teddy looks like on me. It's one of my favorite MAC lipsticks I own. It's a matte color, and it is a super creamy matte color. I don't find it drying at all. It's a really nice, like, mid-tone, peachy brown kind of nude. It can be hard to pull off sometimes. I feel like it looks better if you're a bit tanner, but it's a really unique color, and I really love it. I have another matte color, and this is Brave. Here's what Brave looks like on me. It is a mid-tone, slightly cooler pink shade, and this is the color I wore in my everyday makeup tutorial. I really like this color because it's a little bit out of my comfort zone. The rest of these are very much warm colors, and this is slightly more in the like cooler, purpley-ish zone. So if you like cooler tone pinks, you will probably really like this one. It is a satin finish and super opaque and nice. I have a lipstick from ColourPop. This is the shade Brink. I applied that really weird, but I have so much love for this color. If you aren't familiar with ColourPop lipsticks, they are only $5 each, which is insane, but they are amazing quality. I have an entire video lip swatching all of the shades that I have. I bought 10 of them, and they're amazing. This is my favorite shade from them, and it's one that I do wear a lot. It's a matte finish, but it's super creamy, and I just absolutely love it. I also wear it with a matching lip liner like all the time, and it stays all day. And my very last one is MAC Twig. Here's what Twig looks like on me. It's a super nice neutral mauve color and I really like it in the winter. I wear it all the time. Now that I look at it in the swatches, it looks kind of similar to Brink to me, but just a little bit more cooler toned. But I seriously love this color. It's awesome. It's comfortable. It's just like all the other creamy MAC colors and it is a satin finish. So those are all 10 of my most worn everyday lipsticks. I really hope this video was helpful for you guys. I tried to pick things ranging from low end to high end and all different kind of finishes and tones and everything. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you all very soon. Bye guys.
Also, if you didn't know, I am doing weekly vlogs this summer over on my vlog channel, which is Lindsay Rev Vlogs. So if you want to see what I'm up to this summer on a weekly basis, be sure to go subscribe to that. It's a whole lot of fun and I will hopefully see you guys over there. Bye guys.